How you guys doing? You know me, Mark Morris, ToyToBeTheBroke.com, ToyToBeTheBroke.com, hanging out in the, see, I'm at, I actually came here today, 24-hour fitness, all these fancy cars, but my baby, my 2014 Camry, that's okay, she's fine, when we're making billions of dollars, we'll check out all these people later. Just want to tell you one thing, I was listening to the uh, radio today about the thing, make sure if you're going to do any type of wheel, any type of estate, make sure you go to a lawyer. That's what forced me to pay off my student loan because I had to take my uncle to court because we had messed up with the estate power of attorney was in conflict with the will. So I had to go to the attorney to get him removed because my grandmother says, I don't want him on the wheel. He's back on drugs. I don't want my house to be repossessed or be a den for drug stuff. So then I... Okay, once she passed away, she said, okay, I, I was like paying bills, but also what I wasn't doing was paying my student loan because I had a bunch of property taxes and a bunch of bills from when I lost a couple of real estate investments due all the housing collapse. It's my fault. 2008, I take responsibility, but I didn't pay, pay any attention to the student loan. And one day, 2008, probably about June or July, it could be April, I got a call. Mr. Morris, you better pay off your student loan. I'm like, come on, man. I've heard this how many times? I think I heard it for about two or three years. Yeah, you go do this. Yeah, you go do that. Mr. Morris, if you do not pay something on your student loan, we're going to garnish your wages, take away your income tax, and blah, blah, blah. God will garnish your bank account and stuff to get them out. They were going to forward the whole amount of the loan, which they probably wasn't going to do, but that was enough to make me say, okay, maybe this time they're serious. So I was like, okay, kept talking to her, set up another phone call to talk to them, and finally we worked out some arrangements. That's what forced me to stay up, pay off my student loan. I was working two, three, and four jobs just to get had to pay the legal bills, but also now I had to pay the student loan to make sure I get the income tax returns and make sure they're going to my paycheck so I can pay down the loan. The story is that if I had gotten a proper will done by a proper lawyer, the state and the will, instead of trying to do it by hand, do it those do-it-yourself books. Also, don't do it with a friend of the family who's a paralegal and they're a paralegal living in your property and they don't pay their rent. That's a bad sign. I didn't think about that. Stupid me. But make sure you go to a professional person. That's how I ended up paying off my student loan because that was more like a legal thing because if I hadn't paid it, then it would revert to the state taking over and like God only knows what would have happened if I let the state try to decide on this issue with the tax and with the tenancy. So it was like a mess for about four, four or five years, man. That's why I say take advantage of that 0% interest student loan answer number one. Because my student loan was $546. My, my loan was like $94,485. The payment was $546, which meant my interest was $433, which meant $133 of each payment went to reducing the principal. That's why I say take advantage of the 0% interest rate. Take advantage of it, man. Every penny you apply toward your student loan reduces it. So that's how I ended up having to pay off my student loan, number one. Number two, do not go to a family of the friend or try to do it yourself when it comes to legal stuff, especially nowadays, because it's so crazy now the way they advance the estate, how you handle the tax on the stock accounts. Go to a professional, get them to do it for you. Or at least at the very least, get them to read over your information. Hey, is this correct? Am I doing it right? Is there something else I can do? Trust me, better to go through the pain, pay the five or six thousand dollars now. They have to pay another five or six thousand dollars later, hoping, hoping the judge sees everything from your point of view. Give you, I'll give talk to you guys later, but that's my story. Don't go to a friend of the family that says they understand the legal stuff. It never works out. And make sure you pay your student loan. Take advantage of that zero percent.